Okie dokie. So you say you're gonna you're gonna go Imperial? Yep. Alright. Do you uh <laughs> I'll let you pick out of those three fleets that I listed which one you want me to play. Oh, uh You want me to rename them? Hammer time, one buff Starhawk, and one two punch. That's it. Uh the Starhawk probably has a Starhawk in it. The hammer time, I'm assuming it's a lot of hammerheads. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a one-two punch is, so we'll do that. Okay. I literally made this today. Could be good, could be terrible. I have no idea. We're going to give it a try. Um. By the way, still no objectives. I promise I'll get around to reading those at some point. That's fine. I just got a lot going on. All right, you got yours ready? Yep. All right, here's me. Ooh. All right, well, I'll go over mine first. We got an MC-80 with Leia as my commander. Spinal armament and gunnery teams to enhance that pretty solid front arc. Endeavor gets me a uh, contain defense token just at the start and leading shots for rerolls. Got an MC-30 torpedo frigate with the usual combo that I put on. External racks, ordnance experts, and foresight, which increases his defenses. And then, this is the new thing, two CR-90Bs with overload pulse. So, Interesting. Yeah, we're going to see how well this works. And then for squadrons, I've just got Hera and six Z-95s, and Hera gives, uh, at the start of the squadron phase, two friendly squadrons at distance one to two gain rogue. So we'll see how effective that is. This is totally experimental fleet, not really based on anything that I've read or watched. I just, I wanted to try Overload Pulse. Pretty much is like the whole reason behind this fleet. So we'll see how it works. All right. Over here, let's see what we got. We got an ISD-2, Constantine. Oh, at the start of each status phase, which is at the end of the, t right end of the round, you may choose any number of enemy ships at distance 1 to 5 of at least two friendly non fatilla ships, one of which must be medium or larger. For each chosen ship, you may discard one nav token from it or increase or decrease its speed by one. That's a lot of words, but okay. Tractor beams. Huh, okay, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need nav tokens to counter your shenanigans. Yep. While you perform a salvo attack, you may change one die to a face of the crit. Reactive gunnery while defending you may exhaust this card to spend a ready defense token to resolve the salvo defense effect. Mm-hmm. Relentless. Yep, okay. Fire control team. And heavy ion emplacements. Okay. Then a freaking Dictor. Intel officer. Oh my goodness, okay. Disposable capacitors, also heavy odd emplacements. And then the only other thing you have is Gazanti. Interesting. And then fighters. Lots of different races. And then one generic TIE fighter squadron. Dengar, what do you do? Another friendly squadron is it's one to two. It has counter one or increases its counter value by one. All right, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea who who's got an advantage here. Uh, I'd say probably you. Well, let's do obstacles. I know since you run in the dictor. Yeah. Uh, how many points is your fleet? It is three hundred ninety-nine. You get choice then. Um, uh, I will go first. Okay. Um, I'm 
We're going to place this right here then. Now, we'll do this one. You get it one pass token too. Do I? I know there's a there's a thing about going first and second and how that works, and I don't remember. Player receives one or more pass tokens at the beginning of the game. If their opponent has more ships than they do, when it is a player's turn to activate during the ship phase, the player may spend a pass token. Okay, wait. Um, before the deploy ships step up set up, if one player has fewer total ships in their fleet, that player gains a number of pass tokens. Equal to the difference between their total ships and their opponent's total ships. If the first player has fewer ships, that player gains one fewer pass token. Okay, so no, you don't get any. Because uh, you would get one. But first, before we do the poi fleets, I gotta do my shenanigans. Yep. You gotta read them again too because it's a really long card. Okay, I gotta place it before we deploy and then I do the shenanigans after we deploy. Okay. So if you hit if you hit lock and then click on it, you can see where it, its range. That's good enough. Okay. All right. Well, you deploy first. Yeah. Um. I don't have a lot of options. I'll be going to speed two. I'll be going speed four. Go speed one. Speed three. Speed two. Uh, speed. 
speed four. I'm telling the rest is all you. Okay. It's also speed four. Okay. Uh, Alright, so your grav thing. Yep. So you move them all up to distance two, and they just can't overlap each other. Okay. The dials. You get your uh, one of your things. Yes, I got a contain on my MC80. first. Alright, the interdictor. He's got a nav, he will take the token. And done. Okay. Uh, I'll do the red CR90. A nav which he'll use. Let's just do that. The ISD. He's kind of engineering, he's going to take a token. CR90, nav, he'll use. Okay. He's on team. He's got a repair, he's gonna token and transfer it over to the interdictor. Interdictor is now maxed.
Okay. Um, I guess I'll do MC30. Some nav, which I'll also use. He's also at speed four. Actually, I'm going to slow him to three and do this. And you're done. Yep. Uh, all right, MC80. It's a nav, which he'll use. So, because of Leia, when a friendly ship resolves a command by spending a command dial, if it has not resolved another command this round, it may resolve that command as if it has also spent a matching token, and then I can't do any other commands. So, I'm using the dial. I'm going to change. I'm going to actually shift all the way down to speed one, right? Because I'm using the dial and the token, I can change speed by two. And then, because I'm using the dial, I'm going to get a second yaw, and I'm going to do this. Okay. Oof. Okay. Squadrons, you first. Normally, I would have to choose two to have um, Rogue, but I don't think it matters this round, so. No. Turn two. Do you do stuff during your status phase or no? Some or no, this is, well, yeah, it would be the status phase. Yeah. Uh, nobody's close enough. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll do the the ISD two. Got to know if he's going to use it. using it for much. Uh, sure. Okay. I'll do my blue Corvette then. It's a nav. Which I'll actually take a token. It's not in range. The interdictor. It's gonna nav if you use it. Things in range. He's gonna slow down. I'll do red Corvette. It's a nav, he'll take a token. Okay. Who's on T's? It's a squadron. He'll use it. Uh, let's see. Oh, that could be interesting. I'll take one damage. And now he's going to shoot the first one. Okay. One damage. Dengar will activate. He will shoot the same guy. Okay. He's dead. There's nothing on the move. MC30. It's 
a nav, which I'll take a token. And we're gonna do anti-squadron at the front, which is one blue. We'll start with Dengar. A hit. He's just gonna eat it. All right, and then oh. the other one also hit. Okay, that's all he can shoot. He's moving speed three. Okay. That's you. Yep. All right, MC80 activates. It's a nav. I... I'll take a token. Oops. Um, let's see, right arc is definitely obstructed, but in range. So that's one red. <laughs> Might as well. Yay. Okay. He's moving speed one. There we go. Alright, you're up for squads. Squadrons, yay. Do any of your guys have rogue? They do not. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. I'll just say that the, oops, these two, the two closest ones are the ones that have rogue. I don't really think it's going to make that big of a difference, but we'll see. Um, all right, so these guys are going to shoot at Mauler. They have to shoot Black Squadron. Oh wait, they do. He's got escort. Uh, yes, let's. I had a. F I was going to bring this up when you were placing them, but I was like, I don't think this is going to matter. Let's look up what overlapping squadrons means, or uh, not overlapping, um, squadrons on a obstacle. Hey, Excelsior. Because I know there's sp special rules, but I don't remember what it means. To be under engagement? Obstacles? Obstacles, I think. No. Squadrons are unaffected, I think, according to this one. Yeah, that's as far as damage goes, though. Right. Maybe engagement. Hang on. Okay. While the squadron is at distance one of one or more enemy ships is engaged with all the or enemy squadrons is engaged with all of those enemy squadrons, the engaged squadron cannot move. Uh, if line of sight between two squadrons is obstructed, those squadrons are not engaged, even if at distance one of each other, though they can still attack each other. 
So because there's obstacle. Oh. So that so he's completely fucking useless. Okay. <laughs> he's not useless. Oh, he does nothing. He can still shoot. Well, wait. No, I mean my guy is completely useless because you're not engaged. I think. Correct. Yeah. Right. Because. Because when we draw a line of sight, it would pass over the obstacle. Yeah. Do you want to reposition him? I, I don't think I can figure out where he would be otherwise. What if you did like... That. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so the blue guy will shoot him. Uh, three red. And Dengar gives him counter, right? Yep. Oh, damn. Three hits. No, he's dead. And then you get one hit. Oh, wait, he's got... Was that Black Squadron? Just Black Squadron. Yep. But you get hit. Okay. Uh, number two. How do I want to do this? What's Hera attack with? Two blue, two black. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have Hera shoot Mauler Mythyl. Ooh, wait, before I roll that, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, yeah, you guys are already activated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you effing kidding me? You How do you hit. double blank on the blacks? All right, well... Well, yeah, I'm going to say you can't scatter, so, yeah. Okay, your turn. All right, these guys, excuse me, they'll shoot Mauler Mythyl as well. That's three red. One hit. Uh, one hit, and you can't scatter. Mm. Any of your other guys have escort? No. Nope. Um, these guys will shoot Dengar. Three hits, no accuracies though. He'll scatter. Alright. No, I have an extra blue dice in the black squadron. That's okay. Because he has counter, so he'd be counter two. Doesn't matter. Sure, sure does. Roll another blue. I don't know who shot him. Wait, that was black squadron? Yeah, it was black squadron. So it would have been like this guy, guy, I think. Yep. Okay, um, these two, what are your anti-squadron dice on your ships? Two blue on the ISD, not the Gazanti is one black. Um, oh, I can't really reach. Uh, okay. Hmm. Did okay. Hellrunner also count? Probably not. That's too much shenanigans. Forget it. Count for what? For an extra dice on the counter. I don't think so. I'm going to do some weird little shenanigans here. I'm going to put them there. And them... There. Okay. And then it's turn two. Status. You get to do your status shenanigans. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. I'm starting with Constantine because I got uh, two of them, I think. Yeah, I don't think Constantine triggers because it has to be within at least two friendly non flotillas. Yep, so that doesn't. Okay. What about your other one? Um, that's. When you activate a ship, 
and it's the other one. Oh, that's when I activate for a uh, charger beam, so nothing. Okay. Dials. Okay, I'll do the ISD. It's got a concentrate fire, which you all took him. I mean, I guess he can shoot the one squadron with one blue dice. Yep. Nothing. Hey, Bill Star. do the blue MCR uh, Corvette nav he'll use Concentrate fire. Uh, I will use disposable capacitors. Uh oh. And I will shoot. First shot front arc against your MC 80s front arc. Okay. So with concentrate fire, I'll add the extra die. So you're going to add one and then remove one because the yeah, obstruction, uh, so it doesn't matter what color. I'll just do that. Alright, so you're adding a blue and removing the red. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did I have anything else to do? No. Uh, Intel officer. Oh, after oh, you roll your after attack. You roll. Uh, four damage. Uh, choose one defense token if that token is to discard. Okay. Uh, you're a redirect. Okay. Well, then I'll just brace. And it takes it down to two damage. And now oh, you it's get a crit, to, too. Yep. So now you get to decide. So it's two damage, and you get to decide if you're going to trigger that critical effect. I will. Okay. Um, do you exhaust the card? Yeah. Not that it's going to matter. No. Oh, I do, yeah. Okay. So, basically the way that works is... So, that's the crit that you're triggering. Uh, the defending hull zone and each adjacent hull zone suffers one damage to shield. So, one on that side, one on that side, four on the front. And now, that crit is still treated as one damage. So you still take two? So I still take two more, yep. All right, second shot. I'll shoot your MC-30. Uh, Let's see if that's obstructed. It might not be. I think it is. No. No? Oh. Okay, then. Just barely. But that's just one red. Oh, no. Wait. So look past this. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. All right, Mobby. so against TMC 30, against your front. I thought I thought disposable capacitors were for one shot. Two damage and inaccuracy. Yeah, uh, I guess it doesn't, really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, I use the evade, and with foresight, when you resolve the evade defense effect, it affects one additional die. So, so yep, cancels it. Okay, and I will move. I'm going to take two damage here, no matter what happens. Uh, no, that's a face-up. That's a face-up? Okay. Yeah, asteroids one face-up, debris two face-down. Life support failure to score all command tokens. You may not have any command. Oh, that sucks. I have two man tokens. Oh, you know what? Oh no, those weren't overlapped. What is the face up card? Uh, this card cut tokens. Yep. And Life can't have failure. Tokens. So he loses all his tokens. Okay. Right, we're going to do the MC-30 first. It's a nav, which he'll use. First shot will be on your Gazanti's rear for one blue. Okay. One hit. You could evade or scatter if you want. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I'll scatter. Okay. Second shot will be anti squadron out the right side. So that's one blue. We'll do a one, two, three. One hit. Nothing. One hit. Same thing with Hellrunner. She can scatter if you want. Oh, she can? Yep. I keep forgetting those special squadrons. Okay, so that's all the shooting. Um, he's going speed three with the nav dial, however. Uh, however, with G8. Uh, oh, holding up. For an enemy ship. Go ahead, G8. For an enemy ship, a distance one to five, you to determine its course. You may exhaust this card to temporarily reduce its speed by one to a minimum of speed zero until... So you go down to reduce your speed. Are you going to use that on him or because you have to exhaust it? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I'm using it. Let's say temporarily. Yes. Okay. So the dial, my speed dial doesn't change. Dial doesn't just... change, but you move uh, yeah. one speed lower. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting because if I choose to speed up now, I would have to change my dial up to four, but I would still only move speed three. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see, a speed two, is there a move that I want to use? That's actually not bad. At speed three, is there a move I wanted to use? That would ram. Yep, I think most of them would ram because it's wide enough. Which doesn't damage me. You lose nothing aside from, like, your movement, I guess. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to accelerate to speed four, which means I make a speed three maneuver. Oh, shit. I only get one extra yaw. Oh, but I can still do that. Derp. That's a legal move. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So it's one extra yaw, and you turn one or click one, and then the rest of it's all legal. So that would obviously overlap. So I'm going to back it up. Move ends here. And your Gazantes take one face down. Yep. And yeah, so he's still, now he's at speed four. Okay. 
Your turn. Gazanti navigate. He'll use it. No, he can shoot stuff. I forgot about him. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'll shoot you. No, you won't. You don't what? have guns in the rear. I don't. That's true. It's the one arc you can't uh, shoot out of. All right, anti squadron out the front against that one dude. Okay. Black though, it's deadly. Yep. One. Uh, hang on. When a ship activates, I exhaust this uh, exhaust interdictor to ready another of my upgrade cards. Yep. If you have to exhaust that now. Is it any upgrade card? Or is it just... Uh, any yeah, to that it. ship. Yeah, but the only one that matters would be G8. Correct. So that. He's going to speed up. And take exhaust damage from the interdictor. Nah. Okay. Um, Alright, so the last... Oh no, I have two more to activate. Yeah, you do. Um, Alright, well, I mean, we'll do the MC-80 next. It's a nav, which he'll use. Um, It's going to be tricky to tell if this is obstructed. I don't think I can see both yellow dots. Oh, there we go. You tell me. I can't zoom in. Does that overlap? Uh, nope. Does that go over the asteroid? Nope. Okay. So first shot will be front to front. Uh, so front, that is, we're at medium range, so it's going to be four blue. I'm sorry, sorry, four red and three blue. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nah, no, that's too far away. Um, okay, spinal armament adds a red. And that's it. Yes, that is it. Okay, here we go. Uh, leading shots, I'm going to spend a blue crit to reroll these two reds. Okay, with my accuracy, I'm going to say you cannot brace. That's and a lot you're of taking eight damage to your front. Oh boy. Uh, okay. You got a crit in there, so yep. I'll brace. Uh, not brace, but contain. I'll redirect. Let's see. Yep, so that's five. That's five. So three so damage three with one face up. Uh, no face up because contain. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Three face down. Okay. Second shot will be side to front, which is going to be a whole lot less painful. It's I don't only... think we shuffled the, uh, the damage text, oh, but it yeah. doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be two red and a blue. Uh, I'm going to say that you cannot... Hmm. I'm going to say you cannot use your green contain. Okay. So two damage, one of which is a crit. Brace and all exhaust the contain. Okay. So one face down. All right. Now that I'm going to be moving, are you going to use your? Yes. G8? You slow down by one. Okay. This I'm is this is up. a minimum of minimum of zero. Okay. I'm going to exhaust this card to temporarily reduce its speed by one to a minimum of zero. Okay, but I am using a nav dial. Yeah, so I'm going to speed up 
to two and pull this maneuver. And that gives me a face up. And you can place him. Disengage fire control. When declaring the target of an attack, you cannot choose a target against whom the attack would be obstructed. That is going to suck. Oh, yeah. You're in the middle of the asteroid mess. Okay. Next ship on your part. Right, sorry. Uh, nav, which he'll use. Wait. Nope. Done. Squadrons. You first. Um, my two with Rogue are the only two that are nearby. Yep. Alright, so I'll do Dengar first. He'll shoot the one with two health. Okay. Dengar has Swarm. All runners near him, so he gets an extra dice. Yep. Dead. He's dead. Okay. Okay. And these E95s. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they'll shoot the TIE Fighters. Does how many count for counter? Yes. Nothing. One. Uh, Hera will shoot the same TIE Fighters. Two damage. Two damage, and Hera will brace it down to one. That's all your squadrons? Yep. Okay, um... These guys actually can't shoot. Because it's obstructed. So they're going to move. They're actually not going to move. They're going to... I mean... I'm going to move right there. And then the other guys will shoot... Your Gazanti already scattered, huh? Nah, uh, fuck it. They'll they'll shoot the uh, side of the interdictor. One red, right? Yeah. Nothing. All right, that's the end. Okay, um, that is most unfortunate.
I'll do the ISD too. Okay. It's got a nav, you'll use it. Uh, he will shoot side to side, which I don't think is obstructed. No. That's just my red dice. Two red. Wait, hang on. That I'll do that attack, but when I activate, you may exhaust this card to choose one enemy ship. Your class. He is one to five, so he uh, the MC eighty will slow down. Nope, I'm gonna spend my nav token. Oh, you have to okay. cancel it. I uh, forgot uh, Constantine, but that's fine. No. Well, would you have discarded my token or changed my speed? Uh, doesn't really matter. The result is the same. Yeah. All right. So it's the MC80 speed one now? Yep. Okay. So yeah, the attack, that's one accuracy, one crit against your side. You can't redirect. Oh, wait. I didn't reset my shit. Okay. Uh, no redirect. One damage to my side. Done. Uh, can I shoot your squadron? No. It is very obstructed. Yep. Wait, it's obstructed, but I have two dice. Yep. I'm going to shoot uh, this one. Wait, no, it's not this side. What the fuck am I talking about? Yep. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> it's like we're playing the game at 11 p.m., but we're not. Uh, he's going to speed two. He's going to nav. Yeah, he'll slow down and he'll do this. Okay. And he's done. Okay. So I'm going to do red MC or er, uh, red Corvette. It's a concentrate fire, which he'll use. I think the Kazanti's dead. Yeah, you would. Except I'm not shooting him. Oh, okay. Oh. Shoot your Dictor's yeah. side. That's medium range. Which is normally three blue, plus the one from concentrate fire, four blue. Um, just double checking... Because of Leia, I get to re-roll one, if I want. There we go. Uh, so, wait a minute. I like this, and I'm going to say that you cannot brace. No, you cannot... You cannot redirect. Okay. Um. So it's three damage to your side. Then they all exhaust. No. So you can spend. Because the critical effects don't happen until after the defense token step. Okay. Uh, so you said I couldn't redirect, right? Correct. So I'll brace it down to two. Okay. So... Okay, so wait. It's technically... So put the two back on there. We'll just do this. So just so we could demonstrate the order of operations. Okay. So that was the, that's the only defense token you're going to use, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. So you take it down to two damage. Now I get to choose what critical I want to do. I can either do overload pulse or I could let the standard critical effect play out, but I'm going to say, okay, because I have a blue crit, I am going to use overload pulse. So now you exhaust all of your non exhausted defense tokens and then take the two damage. So yeah, that's how that works. 
And now you know why this deck or this fleet is called One Two Punch, because that's the one, and the MC80 delivers the two. Or the MC30, depending. Yep. Okay. Um, I mean, that was just one shot. Do I have another? No. No. Okay, so he's going speed four. But I do have a nav token. Uh, am I going to slow you down? Are you going to slow me down? That's up nah. to you. That's up to you. Okay, so I'm doing... Th this is really weird, actually. So I'm doing so, this move. So you're basically ramming the flotilla. Yes. I take a damage. Yeah. Because even though I'm going to end up overlapping the interdictor, I have to keep yeah, so backing up to there. And then since the flotilla is closest, that's technically the ship I rammed. I took a damage. Okay. You're next. The interdictor will go... He's got to navigate. Uh, but first, I well, he's going to shoot. He's got a double arc on your MC-80, though, so I can probably, we should probably do that. Both obstructed if you shoot front. However, if you shoot side, it's not obstructed. Out your front. It's not? Oh, okay, side yeah, front to, to side. Front to side, and then I'll do side to front. Okay. I'll do front to side first. Um uh, Yeah. That's interesting, okay. Okay, so choose uh, accurate well, okay. Now you choose Intel Officer. If you choose if you want to, because you have to exhaust it. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'll use it. Uh, you can't... If you use your to redirect, you lose it. Okay. Wait, no. Well, because you do have an accuracy, too, so if you want to do, like, the yeah. double brace, you could do that, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the one of your... I'll do this brace and then the other one with the accuracy. Okay. And then... All right, so then I get to choose to spend tokens, which I... And see, this, this is exactly... This is the perfect example of why the order of operations matter, because yeah. I can I have the option of using my contain here, but I don't know which critical effect you're going to go with. I actually imagine that you will not use heavy ion emplacements, so I am going to use my contain, and I'll use my redirect to take the two off the rear. So one damage goes through, and I contained it. So now you get to okay. decide, are you going to use heavy ion emplacements, or... Oh, you are going to use it. I will use it. Oh, uh, so you it takes one off the front. There. Yep. And then, so I took the two, one more damage, I take one face down. Yep. All right. Uh, so it's, very, it's very picky about the order of which things go, but it does make sense when you think about it, like yeah. why it's in, in that order. Yeah, so next attack, side to front. Which is obstructed. obstructed. Yep. Two, and an accuracy. You can't... Uh, it doesn't really uh, matter. It doesn't really matter. Right, no, you can't because we're just going to use one brace and take the one. No. I, didn't, I didn't have a crit, no. And I exalted it anyway, it doesn't matter. Alright, so that's done. And now I'm gonna take another face up damage, probably. Well, you used a nav, didn't you? Yeah, you could speed oh, yeah, up. That's true. Whoops. Son of a bitch, I don't know how to fix that. You gotta recreate your movement from last turn. Was it this? Well, I'll hit move and see if the, uh... Yeah, it's probably? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I'll speed up. And I'll... Uh, I'll take a freaking two damage if I do that. I 
I can't actually see the the movement text. No, oh, then hit the M on the other side. Oh, right. Oh no. The shield you you stole the shield dials off your Gizanti. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we'll have to delete them, but the Gazanti has like 1-1-1 one, one, one or something. I don't think you've shot him. It's not really. Not what you did, but I scattered. Yeah. So, do I take damage? I don't. No. Nope. That's funny. Yeah, I can't get the other one. Um, here's what we're going to do. Stand by. Are you going to spawn a new one? Yeah. Mm. I'm just going to do it this way. This is not like probably not the best way to do it. And I'm not going to be able to get the angle exact. That's close enough, right? You good yeah. with that angle? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. The shield dial out. All right. There you go. Now the only problem is the little C button is not going to show you whatever thing you have queued there, but you could just always flip it over yourself. Yeah, I'm still missing the shield dial on the interdictor, but it's up too. It's fine. Oh shit! Where'd that one go? I don't know. That is uh, a mystery for you. Oh, it's underneath it. No, I think that was the one of the Gazanti. No, maybe. If you look underneath, there's like yeah, two. Yeah, I know. I, oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know then. Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. This module's imperfect. Yeah. Ah, uh, here. This is what we can do. Do we have we have tokens for this? There, two. <laughs> Done. Perfect. All right. Um, I don't think it's going to much matter because I'm activating the MC-80. Okay. And it's a concentrate fire, which he's going to use. Yeah, that, that guy's dead. So first shot will be front to side. Um, which is going to be five red, three blue. Uh, no, five red and four blue because of spinal armament and the concentrate fire. Yep. With leading shots, spending one blue hit to re-roll these two blank reds. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say you can't brace or redirect, so you're taking four damage. So he dies. Yep. Okay. Shield dial problem corrected. Uh, next I'll do... Oh, I can't make a shot that's obstructed. No, you can't. So I can't shoot your Star Destroyer. But I can no, do... Can shoot the side. No, it's, like a, side it's not side. in range. Well, I could do long range. Yeah, you're right. But it's not in medium range. That's true. So that would be two red... I think I would rather do anti-squadron on Dengar okay. for two black. Two hits. He scatters. Yeah. Okay. All right, so he's going speed one with no more interdictor sh speed shenanigans to worry about. And Constantine literally can't do anything anymore. However, it doesn't mean I don't have my own problems I have to deal with here. Yep. I still have a... I can still slow you down with a tractor into next turn, though. I mean, 
mean I have to do that. And oh, that's you, lovely. No, uh, do you take both or just yeah, one? Yeah, no, both. So, so two, two damage face, and face down up. and a face up, yep. Thruster fissure, when you change your speed by one or more, suffer one damage. Oh, that's nasty. Or five. It's got three health left. I'm fucked. <laughs> you really do more damage to yourself than I do to you when we when we play. When we play. Okay. Because not these. Navigates. They are gonna anti squadron your Z95. Okay. One damage. They will speed up. Not that it matters in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Blue Corvette, Nav. Okay. I could use Suppressor, but it does absolutely nothing, so it doesn't matter. You exhaust the token, then you just get it back because I can't shoot you anyway. Yeah. So uh, you right. do another ship. MC30, nav, which you'll use. I can do anti squadron at my right. So we'll do Dengar and then the ties. One hit on Dengar. One hit on the ties. Or how run Okay. He's still going speed four, right? Yes, with the nav. Okay. Squadrons. You first. Then guard against uh, Hera. Okay. Or with Hellrunner. Three damage. Um, braced a two. And Hellrunner. It's gonna move to engage. Okay. Um. Yeah, smart. Okay. I didn't even realize that 75 wasn't in, uh, engaged. Yep. Because with Rogue, I could have moved him up and shot. Alright, we'll do the Z95s against Hellrunner first. Unreal. Nothing. No damage. So we'll do Hera against Dengar then. One damage and you can't scatter. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, last squadrons then. Okay. Next turn. Hmm. 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I'll do the ISD. Okay. He's got a nav, which will he'll use. Uh, his front to side is obstructed, side to side is not. I don't think front to side is obstructed. I think it is, because my... Oh, you're right. I get to shoot with my ISD. Uh, I'll use the token. Well, concentrate fire. Yep. So what's cool is you don't have to do that yet, because you need, you're not using a concentrate fire dial. Okay. So if you were adding a die with the dial, you would also have to decide if you're using the token because you have to. You're, when you're doing the concentrate fire command, you do it all together. But since you're right. not using a concentrate fire dial, you can hold on to this token and then decide after you roll if you want to re-roll. We're doing that. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to slow down. Um, it won't affect your MC80 because he's already speed one. Uh, your blue Corvette is going to slow down. Okay. Or use a token, whatever. Um, no, I think that's fine slowing down. Yeah, I'm using it, but I don't know what to do with it. Okay, uh, so yeah, front to side. Oof. So, uh, you can decide okay. to reroll if you want. I don't see anything I want to reroll. Okay. I get to do defense. Oh, you have accuracy. You can't, uh, redirect. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to brace and contain then. Okay. So that cuts... I don't think this matters. That cuts the damage from 7 down to 4. And I have 5 damage on me already, so he dies. Yeah. But oh, you couldn't have redirected anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, next attack, side to your MC-30's front. Okay. Four damage. Ouch. Uh, okay. I'll evade. To make you re-roll your... Two blues. Two. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll redirect. And I'll do heavy ion. Oh, and the redirect happens first. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. No, wait. How does that happen? Redirect happens first. Yeah, you spend your tokens. Wait. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say, yes, I'm using the redirect, but we haven't gotten to the do damage step yet. So maybe your crit triggers and then ideal damage? I think maybe that's the right order. So I'm going to redirect. <laughs> okay. Well, the crit is just going to do like... Yeah, one, one to everything. Each. And then okay. just four damage. Um, yes. So with the redirect, I will take... The Two off this side, two off the front. Okay. He had a nav. What speed was he going at? One. Yep. Uh, I'll speed him up, I guess. He'll take was this one's a uh, two damage or face yep, up? Two face down. Face down, okay. Cool. 
that doesn't really matter where the squadrons go. All right. Okay. Um, blue Corvette's going next. Actually, how many turns do we have left? There's only one turn after this. It took me five turns to get into position to shoot. Uh. All right, now I'm doing the MC-80, or MC-30. Uh, concentrate fire, which he will use. I've got your Gazantis double arced. Okay. So first we'll do... They have one health. <laughs> yeah. I'll do side to rear. And I'll add a blue. And I'll use external Rex. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> I'm not going to get a chance to use it anyways. Anyway. Uh, um, Just making sure I didn't do anything wrong. Nope, that's right. I'm going to re-roll these two blacks with Ordnance Experts. And that's nine damage. With no accuracies. So you get scatter. to fucking scatter. <laughs> <laughs> But and you I do get to shoot me again, so. Front to side. Which is two black and a blue. I totally fucked that up. I should use Ordnance Experts on this roll. Two damage. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, great. It wouldn't have mattered. I mean, you could just ram me. Oh, you're going to do it with the I blue anyway. I don't know what I can, though. Wait, did your Gazantis already activate? No. No. See, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, my dude's doing speed four. I don't think I can ram you. No, there's no way. Oh, you're just gonna go right through, yeah. Might as well position yourself for the ISD next turn. No, that'll fly me off the board next turn. I know what you're trying to get me to do. Oh. I, I can't do that. Yeah, and the ISD would have moved anyway, so you wouldn't really be able to use your black dice, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Kazantis, concentrate fire! Uh, they have to use it, because the ISD already has a concentrate fire token. I mean, they could take the token themselves, but... I don't see why I would. <laughs> exactly. I shall shoot you front to side. With two with, uh, blue. With whopping two blue. Oh, 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 hang on. You ended your activation with under uh, in one to three of me. Mm hmm. Uh, I choose to spend one of your defense. Yep. To exhaust so one of these two. So that's. And I get an accuracy and a crit. Okay. You can't use your auto evade, I guess. Okay, well, I'll just burn a redirect. And take it on the rear. Okay. Uh, and the other shot I'll do. You can do side, side to front. Yep. Yeah. One blue. Nothing. Yay. All right, speed three. Maybe I forced a ram. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, it was Almost. close though. All right, mm -hmm. blue Corvette, concentrate fire. Can't use it anymore because everything's out of range. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, can't even take a token. So it's a total waste. He's going speed three. Oh my god. I can ram my own ship. That's my only option. Oh, we'll just do that. And now the other one. Right. Red, nav. 
This is a terrible fleet. Uh, I don't know if it is. The but interdictor we'll moving the obstacles really fucked with me. I'll be, I'll, that's probably yeah. what I'll chalk it up to. Yeah, that that can do, change things. No. There. Squadrons. You first. Dengar will shoot Hera. Okay. Two damage. You know that X-Wings don't follow the laws of physics, don't you? Yeah, it's Star Wars. Uh, f two damage? Hmm. I'll brace it. I mean, I really don't have a choice. Alright, uh, Hellrunner. Same thing. Two. Yep. Brace it again. Uh, okay. Ooh, well, wait. Check this out. I'm going to give these two Z95s rogue. Nice. And I'm going to activate this one. And it's distance one to two. Yeah, yeah, that is distance one to two. Okay. That's distance. Her movement is two. So, right? No, it's three. <gasps> Shit. Damn it. Just... Okay. Good catch. All right. Well, he's got rogue then, and he's going to swoop in and save the day. Shoot Dengar. No. One. He's scattering. Yeah, I figured. He gets a counter. Oh, no. He doesn't counter. He doesn't counter. All right. Then Hera shoots Dengar. Four. Oh my god. Dude, fuck scatter, okay? <laughs> Alright. Um, and then these guys. These guys will move to there. Okay. That's the end. Last turn. Okay. Okay. I only have one ship. Well, I have two, but oh, I need to give this guy a command dial. Sure. ISD. He's got an F. He'll use it. He's gonna. Uh, doesn't have a good option. He's going to double work on the uh, MC-30, so he'll do that, even though, no, it doesn't really matter, because obstructed. <laughs> um, wait. Rear well, decides say... not. Okay. But that's I'll, I'll say long the, range. Uh, red, your red Corvette slows down by one. Okay. Or it burns a token. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna burn the token. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do. Actually, no. Wait, that's so dumb. I'm gonna slow down and keep the token because then I could fucking use the token to speed back up if I want to. That's so dumb. Uh, yeah. So basically, it just does nothing. It's like, or you like you stay at speed four, or you stay at speed four. <laughs> Well, it's, it's literally, it's, if I burn the token, I stay at speed four, and now I'm stuck at speed four unless I nav. 
Whereas if I go down, if I let you take me down to speed three, now with the token, I have the option oh, of going two. back up to speed four or going down to speed two. Yeah, that's true. That's so weird. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a rear to your side. Okay. Which is one what? red. One red. All right. On the foresight with the two evades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. does good. nothing. Evade. <laughs> Uh, next I'll do... Uh, there's like nothing I can really do. I'll just do two against you can do this squadron out the front. This is true. I do have two blue dice. I mean, it would be one on the two Z95s and then two on Hera. Yeah. yeah, might as well. It's probably the only thing that's going to do anything. So on Hera, two dice. Yep. She's dead. One damage. And then one on each Z95. Is this the three or the health. one? All right, okay. Three health. One health. One damage. All right. And now he moves. actually going to speed up uh is he oh i can add an extra yawn that's right and, uh am i over it no 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 okay no, i'll do that so. But you are overlapping everything. Oh no, you're not my Z95s. Ooh, I like that. So yeah, so you can move those squadrons as much as you want. Yep. Bam. No. Okay. So uh, it's all you. Next, MC30. Concentrate fire on the fucking Kazanti. <laughs> it doesn't have any... Uh, no more scatter tires. left. So, side shot to rear is going to be three black, two blue, plus a concentrate fire. So, four black, two blue. There you go. My accuracy, you can evade. You take six damage. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's all that's going to happen. I can, he's going speed four. I can use my token to slow him to speed three. And then the we'll do the red Corvette to concentrate fire, but there's nothing in range. He's going speed three. He also has a nav token though. So he'll speed up to four and do that. None of this shit matters. Blue Corvette. Concentrate fire. Also can't shoot anything. Also going speed three. I'll just turn around and do that. And squadrons. He's going to shoot four yeah. dice. He did. Yep, and I think you win. I'm uh, not sure. That's game. Let's see. Uh, what counts? Uh... Yep, you win. I don't know if you counted my Gazantis. Oh, it didn't. But. No. 23. Plus you still win. Still win? Yeah. What? 227. You're 23, 25, yeah, 29, so that would be 211? Am I right? No, 212? Yeah, it still would be less than your 227. Yep. Very close, though. Yeah. I'm surprised. Gee. My ISD2 did absolutely freaking nothing. No, I didn't kill my MC30. MC80. Uh, 
Yeah, it did, I guess. You never shot him, so I never got to use Salvo. I never got to use Reva. Yep. Uh, See, because that's the thing, man. As soon as as soon as your opponents as soon as you check out your opponent's fleet, you should do quick mental math and figure out, okay, where are the where are the points in this fleet? And what do I think I can kill? When I look at that 11 hull Star Destroyer, I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of points. But if I could kill that Interdictor and the Gazantes and, you know, some of your ace squadrons, I'm like, that is, will probably be enough to win. And if you didn't kill my MC-80, like, if I didn't go over, run over the Asteroids three turns in a fucking row with the MC-80. <laughs> and honestly, you know what? You might think, you might chalk that up to bad piloting on my part, but I actually contributed more to you repositioning the asteroids with the interdictor yeah that plus slowing you down plus like all the movement shenanigans probably yeah. didn't help yeah but that's i mean that's basically how i looked at it. i knew from the beginning of this game that i was not going to take a shot at your star destroyer unless like i didn't have anything else to shoot um right. the priority for me was killing the interdictor and then the gazantes and that's what i did um and that's why you know it came out to be so close and and you did good by focusing on my MC-80, because if you had instead gone for the MC-30 and the Corvettes, then even if you had killed them and the MC-80 lived, it probably would not have been enough points. Yeah, and I don't think I could have been able to kill those those three anyway, because they're too fast. So anyway, the theory behind this fleet was you swoop in close or from behind with the Corvettes, and attack first with the Corvettes to overload Pulse all the defense tokens. And then have either the MC-30 or the MC-80 fire, like activate next and fire on the target that has all exhausted defense tokens. Yeah, I mean, you did do that uh, for one turn against the Interdictor and that killed him, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting theory. Yeah. I mean, I prefer using heavy ions because it just, like, you're going to do... Because for the same kind of effect, you do just three damage, basically. And those stick around, usually. Yeah. What's the point cost on that? Nine versus eight. So, Oops. basically. Close yeah. enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was good. I definitely want to try... Uh... Here, let me... I'll do... Let's do sneak peek. Oh, boy. Sneak peek. So I mean I'm I think I built I'm pretty sure I built this fleet on stream. So here's hammer time. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hilarious. This is the first time seeing it in-game. Yeah, I remember when you did that. I mean, I... I feel like this has the potential to perform well. Because everything's so cheap, like it doesn't matter. And the Hammerheads have five hull. That's a lot for something so little. With ordnance experts and external racks, dude, I just fucking... Oh, yeah. I just kamikaze them into you. If I, like, charge you full speed, that front arc will be a red, a blue, and three blocks, which I can re-roll two of the blocks. Oh, and then with Task Force Organa, I can re-roll two anything else. And then Kraken. Oh yeah, as long as I keep these guys at speed 3, every shot you take against them is obstructed. So yeah, that's gonna be... That's kinda ridiculous. And then... This one I haven't shown anybody yet, but since we talked about it... So this is one buff Starhawk. And oh dear God. you'll notice 
the fleet is basically just one buff Starhawk, <laughs> some Star transports, all the command. Yeah. and then fighters. It's a lot of white tees. So it's a lot of a wings. So it's literally the the yeah the theory behind the squadrons is fighter screen. So the YTs are basically just tanks. So in case I'm going up against any like tie defenders or anything that might cause the Starhawk problems, the YTs are there. They have an escort. And basically, the, the fighters are purely defensive. I know the A-Wings are fast, but the, the idea is to keep them close to the Starhawk and counter anything that you send at it. And then the YTs protect the A-Wings while the A-Wings deal anti-fighter whatever. That's interesting. Yeah, I really, feel about that. I really want to try this. I feel like it has the potential to do really well. Um, also, one of the medium transports, I put repair crews on it, which I've never used Ooh. before. But if it does an engineering thing, instead of getting points to spend, it literally can just get rid of a damage card at a friendly ship nearby. Oh, they both have expanded hangers for everyone? Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I feel like, yeah, like I said, I feel like this is a potential to actually do fairly well. The only downside to it is its low number of activations. And I tried squeezing a fourth ship into this. I was trying to put like a Nebulon B or maybe even like an Assault Frigate in here. But um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like this might work. Well, at the very least, you can pad out your deployment with all these fighters. Yeah. So... Anyway, this is one that I want to do at some point. We'll see. Um, That's going to be it for Armada tonight, guys. I don't really have the time to do a whole nother game because I have to get up super early for work tomorrow. But I don't really know that I'm done streaming yet. Eh, it's 7.30. I should probably go edit something and go to bed. Um, I didn't learn until yesterday that the Final Fantasy remake released on PC, and I gotta be honest, guys, it's fucking amazing. Like, I've, I played it when it first came out on PlayStation, and I finished it, but that was, like, a year or two ago. It was over COVID. So, yeah, I think it was, like, just over a year ago. And, uh, I purchased it on PC and played a little bit of it, and... It's fucking incredible. So, I would like to stream that at some point. The only problem is I have so many fucking games to stream. You know, my fan base is a huge... They're huge fans of Final Fantasy. Dude, I don't know how you're supposed to use these. I don't know. Like, how do you... How would you attach those to a ship? I was just trying to clean up the board. <laughs> I guess you just put it on the base. Yeah, you probably lock it. I don't think that's going to work. No. No. Can I attach it? Yeah, I don't understand enough about tabletop simulator scripting. Pull the ship over the token? You can't. No, you lost all of them. Yeah. Because when... So, the way this module works is once you... Place so when you when you have a ship to place, it has this spawn shields button which is scripted. And then once you click this button, you can no longer pick up and move the ship. The only way to move the ship is by using the movement tool that's scripted.
scripted in. The problem is when certain if if certain objects collide, sometimes the shield dials get like lost or disconnected from the base. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's an easy way to reattach them. Whatever. Alright, I am going to kill the stream and go edit a video. I've got lots of shit i got to get done before stuff happens. Anyway. Lazy. GG as always. GG. I'll we'll have to do more soon. I'm going to be going to Tick's house this weekend though, so we'll see. Everybody else, have a good night. We'll see you all later.